Winners of four of their last five, the Wings are soaring to new highs. Last weekend, it was Hickey leading the charge against the Nighthawks. The Wings are winning in their own Philly way with a toughness that emulates its city. A blue collar attitude that represents a town willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done. The Wings fight for their city and they fight to win. And in this corner, led by Tyler Digby, the New York Riptide. Speaking of toughness, New York has been knocked down a lot this season, but they just get right back up. Last weekend, they were down, but not out, as they earned their first win of the season in overtime, which begs the question, is the tide turning? Tonight is round two for these division rivals. We'll see who delivers the knockout punch. Last time out, it was old-time lacrosse at the Wells Fargo Center as the Wings beat the Rochester Nighthawks behind a lot of big hits, a lot of chippy play, and the physicality that the fans have come to love here in Philadelphia. Trevor Baptiste and the team rallying the troops for that big win over Rochester. Back-to-back -back last week, Brett Hickey had 11 shots in the first game, did not score. He made up for it in the second game, got four goals, and has momentum coming into tonight. Zach Higgins has shut the door at the other end. He's been one of the league's stingiest goaltenders over the last two weeks now in the top four in the league in several categories it's local heroes night here at the wells fargo center against a new york riptide team that is new to the league but has been a tough out but it be a new rivalry we'll find out as the wings take on the riptide for the second time this season Hello, everyone. Welcome into the Wells Fargo Center and NBC Sports Philadelphia's coverage of the Philadelphia Wings alongside former Wings captain Scott Gabrielson. I'm Brian Smith. Scott, the Wings have won four of their last five games. Big change from last season, and a revaunted offense has been the key. Brett Hickey's been one of the keys to that offense. Yes, he is. Brett Hickey, number 11, a guy to watch tonight. He had a great game last weekend. He's a very crafty player. He's a veteran, eight-year vet, 6'2", 225. Tremendous stick. Here you see him couple inside on the power play that Philadelphia had a lot of last week, then shooting the bench, and then shots from that outside. He's a tremendous player on that right-hand side. Look for Hickey. Zach Higgins is the new goaltender for the Philadelphia Wings, and what a pickup he has been. He has just been tremendous between the pipes. He has been tremendous. He's been a wall so far this season. He's an athletic uh, goalkeeper, big, solid, very good with shots low, shots high. He's been the storyline so far. 88 of 100 shots turned aside by Higgins over the last two games. That is tremendous in the indoor lacrosse game. Fourth in the league in goals against average, fifth in the league in save percentage. He has just crept up those two categories over the last couple of weeks. As for the uh, New York Riptide, Scott, they come in with a pretty well-spread offense. They've got a couple of keys to it, though. They do. They're an expansion team. So one guy that they built their team around is a veteran in Tyler Digby. This guy is a hoss. He's six foot three, 280 pounds. But for a big guy, he's got incredibly great, talented hands. Quick in front, knows how to score from inside, outside, very accurate with his shots. He had five assists in the win last weekend. On the other side of the floor, Dan Lomas is a threat. A complimentary player, four-year player, smooth, skilled. You know, great shot from outside. Lomas had three goals and two assists in that victory last weekend against the Georgia Swarm. Now the lacrosse world is a small one. Every now and then we see some family matchups, and we've got one tonight with the Wagner brothers going up against one another. Yes, what a great storyline. The Wagner bros going at it, you know, tonight. John is the younger brother of Ryan. Ryan's 25, John's 22, very similar in their play. Should be a great story, great thing to watch. Another opportunity on their home field for the Wings to pick up a big division win. Our starting goaltenders, a chat with Matt Rambo, and the opening faceoff are all coming up next. It's the Philadelphia Wings and the New York Riptide at the Wells Fargo Center, just about set to go. National Lacrosse League action here on NBC Sports Philadelphia. The NLL on BR Live is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit geico.com to see how much you could save. Our opening face-off is just around the corner. We'll go downstairs now to our Devin Caney, who's with Matt Rambo. 
Thanks, Brian. Matt, you guys are undefeated at home so far this season, and it seems like you're really feeding off of this hometown crowd. As a hometown Philly guy, how much does the crowd play into the team's energy? Um, just coming here to all the sports events growing up. Uh, obviously, we have the best fans in the country and all the sports, but especially in the NLL. So we're just excited that the fans are behind us. You hear them. Uh, it's loud. They're roaring. They're on their side the whole time. And uh, it's nothing like playing at home in Philly. Since you are a Philly guy, you know the Philly-New York rivalry runs deep in multiple sports. Is tonight's matchup a rivalry renewed? Um, I think it's going to have to come over time. It's only our second time playing them. They're a new franchise again, and I think it's going to come over time, but obviously we play them three times. This is a series. This is our second game, so if we win today and sweep them in this series right now, that would be great. All right. Thanks, Matt. Yep. Back to you, Brian. Our starting goaltenders tonight for the New York Riptide, Alex Bouquet. And on the Philadelphia wing side, Zach Higgins Bouquet has been, uh, you know, as, as good as you can expect with the expansion team. You have some, you know, maybe building your defense, things like that. But uh, those numbers has not, not indicated how good of a goaltender he's been for this team this year. No, it's true. He's seen a lot of shots. I mean, one of the things we talk about in the open, we talk about Higgins. Higgins is more of an athletic goaltender. He moves, he baits, he makes saves with his elbows, with his glove and his stick. Bouquet kind of is going to be sitting back. Watch him tonight. Not a lot of movement. Just kind of looking to block shots. Trevor Baptiste pulls that ball out of the faceoff dot, but he's checked to the boards, and so New York able to pick up a loose ball there. This could be one of Baptiste's toughest nights in terms of his opponent on faceoffs. Alex Woodall has been uh, very, very solid for the New York Riptide. Yeah, certainly something to watch. Woodall versus Baptiste at the faceoff dot. Nice little battle to start that game right there. So first possession goes to New York, and they will get set up in the wing's end. John Luke Shetner coming up high and fires a shot in, and Higgins gets a shoulder on, goes into the netting out of play. Shetner had a big night against the wings when these two teams faced off back on January the 4th. Had uh, two goals, four assists, six points, ten shots in that contest. Very close game up in Long Island at the Nassau Coliseum, New York. You know, Philly uh, got away with a victory 15-12, but, but a great game for an expansion franchise in New York. Pass was out of the reach of Gibson, and the Wings are able to gain control as Higgins grabbed that loose ball. Now Kyle Matisse will start the Wings' first possession off to Kevin Crowley. Crowley lays it off the right side for Reardon. Now down in the corner for Matt Rambo. Brings it back around, got the shot away, and that one whistled just wide. It's loose out above the restraint line. Crowley will grab it there. Back to Rambo. Try and go to the net, finds Courier. Courier looking, shooting, save made by Bouquet. Rambo gets to that loose ball. He's triple teamed along the end boards. Finally has to give it up. And New York now will bring it down the floor. Good start for the Wings there on that first possession. Got a second chance opportunity after the first shot. Kind of thing that uh, this team has really improved on this year. Yes, very comfortable. Coach Paul Day is going to go with a, a unique line. I shouldn't say unique, but a different lineup where he's only going with six true offensive players. He's going with 11 B men. And then Kyle Matisse, the captain, this is the two way player who's going to play O and D. Higgins with the save on a shot from Gail Thorpe. And now the wings back in the New York end. It's Fred Hickey feeds Crowley going to the net. And he scores! Kevin Crowley! Gets that one by Bouquet, just enough to get it over the line. Wing strike first, it's 1 0. Well, we talk about two guys that are comfortable playing together. Look at this simple slip pick. Crowley comes in, really doesn't even touch a man, gets that beautiful pass by Hickey, a little push pass. Even with contact, Crowley gets this, the shot off and a goal. The Big Cat taking some heat and scoring it. Tied for third overall in the NLL in scoring. Tied for ninth in goals. Now 13 on the year for the Big Cat. And the Wings able to get on the board first. Wings trying to get out of the maelstrom of sticks there. And finally do gain possession as Crowley was the one to the loose ball. He is kind of all by himself right now as the Wings are changing, but he's able to hold off Wagner. And some help, and now he'll go to the net. Fires a shot that whistled just wide to the far post. Goes out of play. It'll be New York ball. Good shot by Crowley. Looking to go for that low and away shot. 
John Wagner all over him. Look for that matchup tonight. Wagner going on the big cat for Crowley, 21. We got a whistle and a moving pick called against the Riptide. So a turnover going the Wings way. Pat trying to make something happen real quick. Ran into a few defensemen. Now he'll peel off and the Wings will set up. Brett Hickey will await the rest of the change. Just three Wings run off the floor. Three more run on. Blaze Reardon will quarterback things from up top at the moment. So Rambo down the right side. Now skip past to Hickey. Top left. Dishes it off for Courier. Josh Courier looking, puts it right side. Reardon tried to catch and shoot, but he didn't quite get the catch part first. And the clock spot, clock shot expires, so the rip tide will go the other way. You can tell the Wings have a few things that they are trying to pull off here, and uh, you know, just keep it up, and that execution is going to get there, Scott. Yep, they've been very effective at home, moved the ball very well, pick and roll, two-man game. One of the things New York needs to try to prevent is the really dynamic two-man game for Philadelphia, both on the left and right-hand side. Higgins with the save. Isaiah Davis Allen grabbed the loose ball. And here comes Kyle Matisse down the left side. Matisse trying to get around a man. They'll feed it down to Rambo in the corner. Now that that's Frawley with the shot. And that one was stopped by Bouquet and ricocheted out of play. Brings we get a fresh shot clock here with Rambo starting action on the right side. Kevin Crowley maneuvering, going up high. Tried to feed Reardon, but it missed him. And another loose ball pickup for the New York Riptide going the other way. Here is John Wagner, the younger of the two Wagner brothers in this game. Leaves it off for Shetner. And he will feed a man coming off the bench. That was for Cardle. And now the Riptide will get set up and continue to move the ball around. Going straight to the net, though, from the left side. A save made by Higgins. That was Johnston getting an opportunity. And Wings now will get set up at the New York end. Coming up on five minutes gone in this first period. Wings with the 1-0 lead on the goal from Kevin Crowley. One of the things, one of the strategies for Coach Paul Day is with 11 defenders, you can really go out and play your hardest every shift. And, and Philadelphia's going to be very aggressive defensively on New York, putting pressure on them every, every shift. Four seconds to shoot, but the ball's... Nowhere near a wing, so they will just run off and leave possession to the Riptide. It's a good defensive stand there by New York. Keeps the wings from getting an opportunity. Here is Thorpe on the near side. The son of the head coach, Reggie Thorpe. Skip pass to the left wing. A feed intended for Gibson did not make it there. Wings broke that up nicely. Here's Davis Allen going the other way. He's got numbers if he hurries. Davis Allen finds Batiste in the trailer. Wines shoots and scores! Kyle Batiste! Finds the top right corner transition goal for Philadelphia. It's 2 0. Well, it starts with the ground ball. It starts with Isaiah Davis Allen. Really joke him with the uh, defensive end. Davis Allen gets it to the right guy. The trailer, Matisse, time rule, picks the corner. Great shot. Let's take another look at it. Sets his feet, sees that upper corner. Bang! Goal. The captain, Kyle Matisse. In a situation like this, Matisse probably will be on the floor more often than not. He plays in transition, and you'll see him both on defense and offense in most games. One of the reasons he's so valuable to these Philadelphia Wings. We've got a timeout on the floor now as we've had a penalty whistle before this faceoff was able to be taken. So we will tell you what's going on when we come back. It's 2-0 Wings early on here on NBC Sports Philadelphia. The Wings finish up a four-game home stretch at the Wells Fargo Center on January 31st when they take on the Georgia Swarm at 7 p.m. It's college night, and students can get tickets for $15 with a valid college ID. Visit WingsLAX.com to score your seats today. Scott Gabrielson has some keys to the game for us here this evening. Well, you look at Paul Day, Coach Paul Day, he's got his strategy. He knows what he wants to do. He wants to push this pace of play, really get the ball uh, Starting full speed, hit the floor full speed, guys, and play aggressively every time. He's got 11 defenders to do it, and that's what he wants to do. So far, so good. It was a slashing penalty called against the Riptide. Scott Johnston in the box, so the Wings will get their first power play opportunity. Last week, they got as many power play opportunities and as many goals as they had in their first five games combined. And now we've got a whistle and an 
moving pick against the wings, so a turnover will give the ball to New York. Yeah, it's not very often you get 14 penalties in the game. The wings went 7 for 14 last week. Pretty impressive. And Paul Day has said this past week that he was pleased that his power play finally got some time. The Wings had had the fewest power play opportunities of any team in the league before last week. Finally got to work on it a little bit in the game situation. Yeah, they caught up real quick. Riptide in a shorthanded situation, able to work a shot off. That was Connor Kelly getting it on net. Higgins eats that up, and the Wings will come down the floor now with a minute 13 left in the man up situation. Mickey and Courier on the right-hand side, Crowley up at the point. Rambo, Vitarelli down low left. Crowley was trying to find Vitarelli down to the right, but that shot was blocked and a quick break the other way and a shorthanded goal for the New York Riptide as Ryan Fournier took advantage of that nice breakup in the New York end and the Riptide get a shorthanded goal, it's 2-1. Well, as all lacrosse players say, you always put keep your stick up and try to get in the passing lane. 48, knocked that ball down and then went coast to coast. Little high fake, high fake, buries it low. Fournier on the breakaway, one on one, beats Higgins down low right. Great goal by Fournier. That's just the second shorthanded goal for the Riptide this year. They have the league's last place penalty kill, but Reggie Thorpe has got to be happy to see something like that out of this unit early on. Expansion team, they pick a leader, they pick a seasoned vet, a guy that's played this game. Reggie Thorpe, a tremendous lacrosse mind. No better leader to, to put together a great New York team. They're learning quite well under Reggie Thorpe. And a face-off win for New York will allow them to kill some more time off this man-up situation for the Wings as they take possession with 19 to shoot, 35 left on the power play. So the Wings will get one more possession out of this, or at least will force New York to shoot before this uh, penalty expires. This is Shetner working on the near side. Again, just killing some time. He'll come up high and get the shot away. That was wide of the net, and the shot clock will expire. So the Wings will get to take things over at midfield. So we talk about Reggie Thorpe. Let's talk about his keys to the game. One, they got to solve Higgins. They've got to find a way to beat him in tight from behind. Outside side shots really aren't going to work against him. And then an effective two-man game. They got to really work hard to create their opportunities, seal, slip, mix, etc. Pick and roll. It's what Philly does very well. We're going to see if New York could do it. They do. Digby. Another transition goal, this one going to New York as Digby came off the bench and he's able to beat Higgins to the top left corner. So a good run here for the New York Riptide as they kill off the penalty and tie the game. Let's take a look at it. The big man just parting the seas right between the two wings defenders. High stick, sees that upper left, buries it right under Higgins' stick side. Tyler Digby, ninth goal of the season. Really big for a big guy. Great hands, great stick work. Picks a corner right there on the break. An expansion draft pick for these New York Riptide, but he was no slouch. 72 points last year with New England for Tyler Digby. He's one of the assistant captains of this team, providing some leadership and some offense. He does so there. And New York so far has got the number in the faceoff circle and a quick outlet shot stopped by Higgins. That's a big save for the Wings to try to change the momentum after Alex Woodall got another faceoff win. Not something that the Philadelphia Wings fans are used to, seeing a fast break going the other way against Trevor Baptiste. Feel like we're on the opposite side of that. A great face up by Woodall to create the one-on-one -on -one with, with Higgins in the save. Matt Rambo pushed, tried to get a shot away as he fell toward the crease. It was taken care of by Bouquet, and here comes the riptide the other way. Near sideboards. This is Lomas with it. Lomas trying to run around a pick. He's up high. He'll take the shot anyway. And Higgins knocks that down, picks it up with the glove hand, and now was looking to outlet, but decided to just keep it short. Now Wagner with a long outlet pass to Matisse, and he will await the change. Matisse rolls off a man, trying to get out in front. Does so. Save made by Bouquet. Riptide pick up that loose ball. McRae. The overtime winner for this New York club last time they were out last week moves it ahead. And now New York will wait for everybody to catch up as Breyer Jonathan moves it back out to Digby at the top. Off left side, this is Longboat. They move it around. McCardle winds, fires a shot off the chest of Higgins. 
And Baptiste is there to pick up the loose ball. Shields it nicely. Moves it ahead to Isaiah Davis Allen at center. Cardinals a guy to watch on offense for New York. Number six had three goals last weekend against Georgia. American player, lefty, great shot. Better save. Crowley tried to drop it off for Courier, but it was out of his reach. All he could do is swat it to the far side, but an over and back call. Here comes New York quickly the other way. Low shot stopped by Higgins. Now Hill outlet. A break the other way, one on one. Ryan Wagner moving in, looking to shoot, scores! Wagner didn't find anything to his right, rotates around to his left and puts it home. 3-2 Philadelphia. What a play, it all starts with Zach Higgins in the net with a save, he doesn't give up the rebound, he controls it with his stick, his head is up, he sends it up, he catches Ryan Wagner in stride, great little move, puts the brakes on, defender flies right by, turn, shoot, goal. Great goal, Ryan Wagner, his first of the season. And one nothing for Ryan Wagner in the battle of the Wagner brothers in this game. Zach Higgins is gonna draw an assist on that for that outlet pass. And that has just got to be huge, Scott, for a, a team like the Wings that suddenly are in the sit unfamiliar situation of losing some face-offs. He is able to put out some fires and well momentum before it gets out of hand. Yep. No doubt about that. Here is Shetner on the right side as New York gets set up. And they will work it around. Played down the far left corner for Digby. Tried to feed a man out in front, lost it, but Shetner picks up the loose ball, got the shot away. Rebound will come out to Gibson, and he gets a check for his troubles in front of the wings bench. This is Longboat. Coming around traffic. Got it off right side, Lomas, and now off to Shetner. Shetner cuts back, tried to feed Lomas, he missed the pass, and a loose ball gonna be picked up by Steph Charbonneau, actually pushes it along. And Davis Allen will get to it, now to Trevor Baptiste, moving in, looking for his seventh. Fired it just wide. Baptiste, six goals on the year after not scoring one last year. He has become a regular transition threat here for Philadelphia. New York is a very athletic team. You see them moving the ball around. They're never stop their motion. Great motion offense, trying to get the two-man game, getting some good shots off. They're a threat every offensive possession. Thorpe tried to sneak one low on Higgins, but he gobbled it up. And the Wings looking for more as Brett Hickey controls it on the left wing. Worked it down for Crowley, coming around behind the net up to high. Crowley will get the pass back, fires the shot, save made by Bouquet. And New York trying to move out quickly, but they will just slow things up as Corey Radswitz picks it up at center. Radswitz will feed it ahead, complete the change as Shetner developing into kind of the quarterback of this offense for New York. Feeds it off to Gibson coming off the bench. Back to Shetner on the right side. Shetner over to Gibson. Shot stopped by Higgins. Rebound is loose. Knocked to the near wall. New York will control. Great four checking by New York. Every time the shot is made and the ball's in front, New York is swarming on the defensive player of the wings, creating a turnover. Good defense turns to offense. Digby fed a nice give and go, but a shot off the crossbar from the stick of Longboat. Wings dodge a bullet there as Matisse comes back the other way. Cardo working him over on the near side. Matisse holding his own. Feeds a man out in front. They score! It's Brett Hickey! Beautiful placement by Hickey, not only to get to the top of the crease, but to put it home. 4-2 Philadelphia. Well, it all starts with Kyle Matisse just taking it, the che checks every which way, drawing a lot of attention. Little flip pass to Hickey right in front, just sees that five hole open up and just buries it right there. Flip by Matisse, shot by Hickey, goal, wings. 13 this year now for Hickey. He reties Kevin Crowley for the team lead. Hickey only played three games last year before he left with a season-ending injury, and what a breath of fresh air it is to have him back healthy. Face-off violation is going to give us a timeout on the floor. New York will have the ball when we come back. It's 4-2 Philadelphia on NBC Sports Philadelphia.
Expo Center, where the Wings lead the New York Riptide 4-2. I'm joined now by Wings head coach Paul Day. Coach, last time you guys played this team, they pulled ahead in the first quarter. How do you guys hold on to this lead and run with it? You know, we're really focused now on uh, kind of some of the little things. Turn the ball over a little bit, back to the game plan. And tonight against this team, they're expect the unexpected. They shoot from a lot of different places. They slide different. So we're focused on 30 seconds, five minutes at a time for 60 minutes. Thanks, Coach. Brian? Thank you very much, Devin. As uh, Paul Day said, uh, Scott, some things that you wouldn't normally expect uh, from, uh, you know, obviously it's a team that you're not going to be familiar with anyway, but uh, they do pull some surprises. They do. I mean, very athletic team. They're going to try to get shots from everywhere. They're going to try to spread the floor, which you see. Big four-quarter four quarter offense, make the slides wider, but great stick skills by New York. Riptide with possession as Digby rolls off a check, feeds a pass out in front, and a shot is stopped by Higgins. Digby gets that loose ball back, and they will reset as Kelly will control up high. He had the initial shot bid. Play catch with Lomas, and moves it around to Gibson. Tried to feed back to Kelly, was out of his reach. He'll get the ricochet off the corner board, 17 to shoot in front. Gibson is hit hard by Jokum. They retain possession in front. Lomas deeks and scores. Wings almost had that shut down, but New York able to retain possession, and Lomas pulls the riptide back within one. Well, Reggie Thorpe has this offense working right here, really spread out, second chance opportunity. Digby told him to slow it down, but Lomas just gets lost on that crease, just sets up. Digby finds him, a little flip pass. Lomas in front, little fake high, finish high. Great goal by Dan Lomas. 11 now on the year for Lomas. He had a hat trick last week. And this is his fourth season, but he's only played six games over the last two years. So he gets an opportunity with this new team. A few guys on this Riptide roster are guys that have played in the past, maybe taking a break, and now get a new opportunity with the expansion teams coming in. No doubt, and Reggie Thorpe is the general manager and coach. So he's a guy that got to pick his team, and Lomas was a guy he'd like to build it around. So far, they're shining bright against Philadelphia. Baptiste pulled that ball out of there, but he was stick checked, and now New York has possession. They seem to have a bit of a strategy maybe to deal with Trevor Baptiste. And they will take things over here early on in late in this first quarter, rather. We've got a delayed penalty coming up here against Philadelphia, so Bouquet drops to the bench. Extra attacker is out for the rip side. They work it around, left side, a shot stopped by Higgins. Shot clock resets as the Riptide retain possession and will continue to play six on five. Here's McCardle off to Thorpe on the right side. Cross pass, shot stopped by Higgins. He'll hold on to that, and that will bring us our whistle. And a man up situation coming up here for the Riptide. No rebound on that shot. First shot did get out. Riptide has second opportunity. Let's see what the penalty is. It's Liam Burns headed to the box. Cross check. Illegal cross check on Burns. So, first power play opportunity coming up for the rip side with an opportunity to tie it late in the quarter. Let's take a look at the save by Higgins, catches it high up, stick save, controls it, and just adds another one to it. Right off the start of the man up situation, the ball's out of play. Philadelphia will take over as Patton's got it on the near side. Wings have 20 to shoot, so they will have to do something before the quarter ends as we're under 40 now left in the first period. Kevin Crowley will kill a little time here as we approach 10 to shoot. Leads it down right side for Matt Rambo. Rambo double team, tosses it toward the net, goes wide. Wings will concede possession, and Scott Johnston will bring it up the floor. Wings have been comfortable on the man down situation. Their penalty kill is 66.7%. That's first in the National Lacrosse League. They work very well, push passing uh, the offensive player off to each other, and then Higgins makes the big saves. Gibson with the drive as they played for last shot. Wings toss it down the floor, and time is going to expire here in this first quarter as the Philadelphia Wings dealing with a pesky New York Riptide team here. They've got the lead, but it's just one goal, four to three. Power play is going to continue when we come back for the second quarter, but the uh, Philadelphia Wings feeling out this Riptide team. More to come here on NBC Sports Philadelphia.
Wings lead the New York Riptide 4-3 to three after one quarter here at the Wells Fargo Center. Hey, Philly Authentic fans, have you downloaded the My Teams app yet? Get stories, stats, exclusive video, and more right from your phone. Download now and always stay connected to your teams. Kyle Matisse with a goal here on the evening. Scott, he is the heart and soul of this Wings team second year as captain. Yes, he is old school player, two-way guy that gets it done on defense, gets it done on offense. Really tough. Here's a beautiful little flip pass right in front to Hickey, and then he could do it himself, picking corners from outside. The captain, Kyle Matisse. Beautiful highlight reel breakaway goal last week for Matisse, fending off Sean Evans on his way to the net. We're underway here in the second quarter. New York controls the faceoff, and they are on the power play. About 53 seconds left to go on an illegal cross-check penalty to Liam Burns. And who do you see in the back of the penalty kill is number 46, Kyle Matisse. Definitely an all-situation player for the Wings. Ripside 11th in the league on the power play coming into this game, 36%. Gibson thought about the shot, played it down behind the net instead, and out to the right side, Chetner fires and scores. Jean-Luc Chetner, again, a big game against the Wings last time out on the fourth. He scores here, and we're all tied up at four. Jean-Luc Chetner picking a corner. Look at the ball movement. Higgins thinks there's going to be a dunk from outside, so he turned his head. He had to step forward, and as he stepped forward, Chetner just bangs that upper left-hand corner. Great shot from outside. Time rule. Bang. Great shot on the power play by Chetner. Could not have placed that better. Six in the year now for Chetner. Had five goals, 11 assists, 16 points in 11 games with Vancouver last year, and he pretty much equaled those totals already this season. Trevor Baptiste controls off an illegal procedure call on that faceoff, and the Wings will gain possession here. We are all even up after the power play expire, or the power play goal, rather. The Wings trying to regain the lead. Really is something to watch, that faceoff battle between both Woodall and Baptiste. Matt Rambo got a shot away that was wide of the net, and the Riptide will control and get set back up at the Wings' end. Second quarter has been the best quarter of the season for the Wings. Their second quarters have been better than any other team's quarter in any situation. 24 goals in the second quarter for Philadelphia. As we have a foot in the crease, resulting in a turnover the other way. They've outscored the opposition, Scott, 24 to 12 in the second quarters of games this year. They know how to put the pedal to the metal in the second quarter. we got a tie ball game. Let's see if they can start it off right here. Matt Rambo puts everything into that shot off the bench and it's turned aside by Bouquet, but the Wings able to get to the loose ball and they'll retain possession. Here's Blaze Reardon working it around to Courier. Courier wanted to shoot, had a man too close. Back out to Crowley. Tried to feed it behind the net, but that was deflected. Loose ball now picked up by the Riptide. Suter the other way now for Gibson. Gibson wants to shoot, now takes the shot, and Higgins gobbles that up. Outlet to Finley. Here's Nick Finley down the right side. Feeds it cross for Hickey. That shot was turned away by Bouquet, but the loose ball makes it way back to Hickey. Fresh 30 second shot clock. Wings will get all five off offensive players on the floor. See if they get a high percentage shot. Here's Matisse trying to come around the corner. Feeds it to Corey Vitarelli in the right wing. Vitarelli coming down to the goal line. Now dives and shoots, and that one is wide of the net. Jetner will get to that loose ball. New York coming the other way. Riptide trying to take their first lead of the game here, all tied up at four. Three minutes gone in the second quarter. Near side, Kelly. Plays it to Digby, who will come back up high. Digby down to the far corner, and a shot turned aside by Higgins. That was Lomas on the shot, and he gets to the loose ball. Needs it back behind the net. Thorpe back to Lomas, and they working around. Kelly now off for Digby. Digby. Trying to find a better angle. His shot was tipped, but it came back to Thorpe. 
Fired a shot that bounced wide to the net, and the Wings get the loose ball. They're coming quickly the other way. Wagner feeds a man off the bench just out of the reach of Crowley. He was trying to break in behind the New York defense, but he couldn't quite reach the pass. Little sloppy on the passes right there by Philadelphia. New York really spreading out the defense well. Looking for the backside shot. Worked in close and a shot stopped by Higgins. Wing was pushed into the crease, so a whistle there. And Philadelphia will come the other way. Tie score, four apiece. Wings in the New York Riptide here in National Lacrosse League action on NBC Sports Philadelphia. We are live. It's the game of the week this week in the National Lacrosse League. We're very glad to have you along with us. I'm Brian Smith. Joined with Scott Gabrielson, Devin Caney, and we get a goal from the Wings. Plays Reardon. Found his way free just outside the crease, and he bounces it home. 5 4 wings. Reardon always moving in front of the net. Nice little two man game. Rambo Reardon once again, the RR connection. Nice little flip by Rambo. Look at Reardon just buries that lower pipe, bounces up and in. Shot, bang. Double poster beats Bouquet. Great shot by Blair's Reardon, fifth on the season, going with 10 assists, 14 points. That two man, very great comfort between Rambo and Reardon, delivers another goal right there. Paul Day said earlier this season he was looking for a breakout game from Reardon. We think we got it against Vancouver, eight points, and he has been consistent ever since. Wings win the faceoff, and they're right back on the attack here with possession, looking to extend this lead. Crowley in the left corner. Trying to work his way around a check. He feeds Matisse. Matisse is leveled as he rolled off a pick. Both players kind of slow to get up after that huge hit. Here's Matt Rambo. Gets the shot away. It's wide. Bounces right back out in front. And the shot clock expires. Big 77, Jonathan. Matt Matisse with the slide. Big hit in front. Clearing the crease. Here's Johnston controlling as he waits for the change to complete and now he'll run off himself. Takes a lot to put Matisse to the ground, but Rare Johnston was a formidable foe there. Now a pass is out of the reach of a riptide player. It's going to be over and back. It's whistled. And we've got a timeout on the floor with 9.52 left to go in this second quarter. Wings with a 5-4 lead here on Local Heroes Night. Welcome back to the Wells Fargo Center. The Wings lead the Riptide 5-4. I'm joined now by New York Riptide head coach Reggie Thorpe. Coach, what is the key to getting the ball past Philly goaltender Zach Higgins? I mean, we got a lot of shots on that there. You know, we got to got to get upstairs a little bit on him, but he's playing well. You know, Buki's playing well. We certainly got to limit their transition this quarter. All right, thanks, Coach. Brian? Thank you very much, Devin. He mentioned the shots 26-13, to 13, the shots on goal right now in favor of the Riptide. Watch all the action from around the National Lacrosse League this season on BR Live. Choose an annual, monthly, or per game pass. For more information, visit nll.com slash BR Live. Good goaltending by both teams so far. I mean, Bouquet, we talk about him. He's, he is a totally different goaltender. He's a 350 pound goaltender. He fills up that four by four big time. So the Wings really have to be accurate with their shots. Another save by Bouquet right there. Rambo with the shot, and the ball was not quite sealed up, but it didn't roll too far, so Riptide are able to secure things. And they will get set up on the attack. It's Gibson leading things from the point. Works it off the long boat, now around to the far side. Gibson fed to the back door, but his shot was a little bit wide. He gets that loose ball back. They give him a fresh shot clock on that one. Near side, it's Digby now working into long boat. Long boat off to the right side. They work it there. This is Thorpe. Rolls off a check. Lomas now near side for Digby. Digby looking for a lane. Tried to feed it up top. They got the shot away. And Higgins with a great save. It's Longboat got past Kyle Matisse to get the bid on net. But Higgins with the stop. Good movement in front by New York. Passing the ball well. Little flip in front. Higgins eats it up. But New York's trying to find a different way to beat Higgins. Feeding from behind, shots in front. Plays Reardon, right side, comes up high. Plays it off for Courier, a shot. That one is stopped by Bouquet. Fresh 30 for the Wings as it comes back to Matt Rambo along the near wall. 
Rambo worked it far side to Crowley, now down to Courier. And we've got a whistle and a penalty coming up against the Philadelphia Wings, a cross check. I may York, need to take that back. It is, it's on New York. It's a cross checking penalty on New York, which I was a little fooled because the Wings were in possession of the ball when they blew the whistle, but it right. would be a Wings power play. Rambo going to the goal heavy. Here's Courier. I think it's at the far side. Rambo was going to the goal hard. Scott Johnson was Ding him up. They both were cross checking each other, but Johnson got Rambo with the cross check. Let's watch the bottom of the floor. There it is right there, right under the throat of, of uh, Rambo. Feet get caught up. He goes down, but the wing's on the power play. So Philadelphia looking to lengthen the lead. They're up five to four as we wind time down here in the second quarter. Big shot stopped by Bouquet. And that'll be controlled by New York. They will move it up the floor. Longboat in transition, shorthanded. They already have one shorthanded goal here today due to the Riptide. But now they will back off and see what they can do about ticking off some of this power play time. We've got 14 to shoot. Bring the action. Coming up on a minute 20 left to go on man advantage. Longboat strategically working. Now got it to Gibson. Foot save made by Higgins. Almost stuck one by him there, did Gibson. Great backdoor cut by Gibson, the number one draft pick for the New York Riptide. Great stick save by Higgins. Matt Rambo working it around to Crowley. They keep it going to Courier. Back out to Hickey. Hickey won't. Wanted to shoot, got it to Rambo instead. His shot was blocked in front, and it's picked up and held by the Riptide. Great job by Longboat to get in the way of that shot and then get the loose ball. Excuse me, that is the captain, Dan McRae, with that excellent effort. Continues to eat up clock time here. As the Wings now have 30 seconds left on the man advantage. 13 to shoot for these New York Riptide as Longboat's got it now. We talk a lot about Matisse. Well, Dan McRae is the captain of the New York Riptide. Another one of those leaders, guys that leads by example. He do, does it on the defense and then picking up ground balls, pushing up the floor. Grease violation gives the ball back to the wings with 10 seconds left on the power play situation. One final chance here. I'll just work it around. Rambo gives it back to Crowley is there in no hurry. Man comes out of the box, teams are at full strength. 6.13 left to go in the quarter. Nice cut there by Corey Vitarelli, but his shot stopped by Bouquet, and here comes New York the other way. Radwitz looking, shooting, save made. Higgins rebound is picked up right out in front. And New York's gonna get set back up. Nice play, great ground ball right there. Wagner, right place, right time, GB. Tyson Gibson feeds it out right side. McCardle fires, save made. Actually whistled just wide of the net and goes off the end boards all the way back down the floor. So over and back we whistle here. The Wings are going to get the ball in the right wing corner. Kyle Matisse will start things up. Reardon off for Vitarelli and back to Blaze Reardon. Reardon comes up high, tried to dump it off to Vitarelli. Pass was off the mark. And the Riptide coming the other way. This is Gibson working with it. On the near side, now Gibson has it. Gibson trying to find a lane to the net, got cut off. Back up high, shot by Lomas, whistles wide. Rebound controlled by Thorpe, tried to feed through to Gibson, but the ball bounced away and into the possession of Higgins, Isaiah Davis Allen. Take the outlet pass from Skolten. Ned Crowley coming off the bench. Crowley trying to go to the net, but he couldn't find the lane. He'll peel back out. Near side, Matt Rambo puts on a move. Tried to dump it over for Vitarelli, but that was out of his reach. And a loose ball deep in the New York zone finally will be controlled by the Riptide. Just off, you saw the New York defender grabbing Vitarelli's stick. You saw the stick on the ground right when he tried to do that pick and roll. The defender grabbed Vitarelli's stick through. Vitarelli had nothing to catch the ball with. Turnover, New York ball. Here's Kelly on the near side. They're working around. McCardle back out to Kelly. Now for Digby. 
Digby shoots. A sneaky shot there through a screen. It was just wide. McCardles to the loose ball, but just four to shoot. Has to just dump it down deep. Wings are going to pick it up, and we will get a timeout on the floor. 4.03 left to go in the second quarter. Wings lead this one 5 to 4. Bring your team or organization to a Wings game for a one of a kind experience. Groups are eligible for special pricing and exclusive opportunities to be a part of Wings games. Find out more about group tickets and fundraising by calling 215 952 LAX1 or visit wingslax.com. Busy night for Zach Higgins. Scott, 30 shots already. Yes, he has. Well, as we said earlier, New York is trying to find a way to beat Higgins. The outside shots are not going to do it. He's eating them all up. You see some on the inside as well. They're trying to solve Zach Higgins, and it's gonna it's been tough for him. They've got four past him, but he's got more saves than goals right now. Playing quite well. Zach Higgins stopped 88 of uh, the last 100 shots over the past couple of games, providing just outstanding goaltending for the Wings, and he's continuing to this point tonight. Here's Crowley trying to work his way to the net as we are back to action. On the floor here at the Wells Fargo Center. Cross court pass though was intercepted and a loose ball picked up by New York. They're coming the other way. Solid defense by New York. Shutting off passing lanes, intercepting passes. Great defensive stand right there by the riptide. Thorpe worked it right side for Lomas, who's trying to get around some traffic. He'll beat it out in the left wing corner. Kelly. Comes up high, goes back to the right side. A cross court pass was off the mark as the shot clock expires. And we've got a whistle and a penalty here. I believe it's going to be on Philadelphia as Liam Patton has been tagged for something. There's also a New York Riptide player going to the box. So we'll see what the final verdict is here. Looks like they're going to trade some penalties right here. It was after the shot clock violation. Penalty, two minutes, dead ball foul. New York penalty, five minutes, high sticking. So we get a high sticking major. We'll get a look at this. There's a cross check late by Patton, and then you're going to miss it up at the top of the screen. Rip tie player turned around and, and cross checked Patton right in the net. So the cross-checking major is called on New York. Patton gets the two-minute dead ball foul in retaliation. We get a good look at it here on the left. After the fact, right there, up high in the throat, cross-check. Five-minute major. It actually looks like it was the other way around. The dead ball foul happened on Patton first, but then the retaliation draws the major. So the Wings are going to have power play time here for three minutes, and a quick opportunity is stopped by Bouquet. Wings get to that loose ball to retain possession as plays reared it. He's able to fend off a riptide defender, and he'll take a breather. Wings getting set up. Here's Courier and a loose, or rather a whistle, a moving pick called against the Wings. Here comes New York the other way quickly in transition. And Shetner, his shot is blocked. Nice play by Charbonneau to get back there and get a stick on that shot by Shetner. Wings regain possession with about two minutes left to go on the power play time. Really active defense by the New York Riptide. Really like what they're doing. Andrew Suter, the veteran. Scott Johnson closing up that front. Contesting every ground ball. You look at Suter right there, all over the place. So we're actually playing four on four at the moment. The power play is going to start when Patton's penalty expires. So four on four right now on the floor for the Wings as a Vitarelli shot is eaten up by Bouquet. Excellent save from the New York goaltender and the Riptide will bring it up the floor. Five four wings with the lead as we go into the final two minutes of the first half. This New York Riptide team has been a tough one. Not what you would typically see out of an expansion team as a shot and a goal from Digby eludes Higgins. A little bit of an off speed shot there by Digby and they've tied it up at five apiece. It was the big fake that Digby made. He didn't shoot the ball. Look at the motion. 
spread floor. That little fake right there got Higgins thinking he was going to shoot, but he didn't. That fake brings Higgins to his knee. Little bounce shot, bounce low, picks a high corner right there. Great shot by Tyler Digby. Second of the game for Digby, 10 on the year now. He's and a, we are all tied at five. Very talented player, played for New England Black Wolves last year. A guy that they did, they wanted to protect, they couldn't. When New York saw he was unprotected, Reggie Thorpe grabbed him right away. Great leader, great scorer. Tyler Digby, second goal of the night. Alex Woodall wins the faceoff for New York, and they will set things up here as the power play is about to get going for Philadelphia. Liam Patton will be released from the box, and as it starts, the Wings will be on the defensive side of the ball. Ten to shoot now for New York. As Thorpe tried to feed it out in front, just a couple of teammates. The Wings will get to the loose ball. And they will get started on this power play opportunity. 60 seconds left to go in this second quarter. So barring further incidents, some of this is going to carry over until the second half. Crowley working it back to Matisse and now to Reardon. They'll play catch. But Matisse right side for Vitarelli. Tried to feed Crowley, missed him, but Matisse gets to the loose ball. 10 to shoot. Matisse to Hickey in front. Reardon a shot and a save made by Bouquet. New York will break out. Final 30 seconds of the quarter. There's about a five second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Gibson to Kelly and back to Gibson. Right side longboat. Now off to Digby, moving in. Relieved of his helmet, penalty coming up. They'll blow that play dead as Digby was Check, lost the helmet, and we might have two players going here, Scott. Digby's complaining, complaining, right? The little slash, one hander by Jokum, gets Digby right up under the throat. Helmet comes off. That's your one penalty. And then Digby actually behind the back pass, puts it right on his teammate's stick, almost a great pass catch goal for New York. So Digby has been sent to the box. Liam Patton is also Penalties in the box. Penalties on the player as follows. Philadelphia, two minute minor slashing. New York, two minute minor illegal equipment playing without a helmet. Field strength is even. So the Digby penalty called for him continuing the play without the helmet. And I believe we just got another one called on New York. So Digby gets dinged with the unsportsmanlike conduct after the fact as well. Yes, Digby didn't care for that call. Probably had a few choice words for the referee. I'm sure we'll got, see a transcript later. Got himself a couple more minutes in the box. So essentially all this is going to carry out in quarter number three as we only have 9.8 seconds left on the clock. Coming up on NLL at the half, the Seals and Mammoth will make history when they play the first ever game in Las Vegas. Highlights and analysis of the first half and a look around the league all coming up at the half. That'll be a big game, Scott, next week as the league goes to Vegas for the first time. Devin Caney's going. She's not bringing us with her. <laughs> None of us are going. Should be great, great <laughs> venue in Las Vegas. You never know. Could be a new franchise down in Vegas. Could be. Keep your eye on that. As for here in Philadelphia, our next telecast for Wings fans will be next Friday against the Georgia Swarm. Coverage will begin at 7 o'clock over on NBC Sports Philadelphia Plus and on NBC Sports Philadelphia.com. So Wings will wrap up a home heavy month of January, and it's been great, Scott, for them to get some floor time here at the Wells Fargo Center after starting the season with three consecutive road games. This team is coming into its own here on its home floor. Yes, it is, no doubt about it. And you see uh, the guys wearing this camo. It's local heroes night here at the Wells Fargo Center. Coach Paul Day was a 27-year veteran of the police department, a, de a detective. We just want to give thanks to all those who made it their profession to protect us and keep us safe and assure our freedom. We want to thank you all, all of the local heroes tonight. We'll never forget. Absolutely. Ian Rubel also a law enforcement officer back at home. And 
but uh, just a, a tremendous night to have some tremendous folks out here. The uh, Flyers Warriors team got to practice with the Wings this morning ahead of their shoot around. That was a great sight. We've got footage and pictures of that on our social channels at NLL Wings. We are just uh, watching here as we have some extensive uh, trying to figure out what's going on, I believe. And again, with just 9.8 seconds left, most of this is going to take place in the second quarter, or excuse me, the second half as we are winding down the second quarter. But uh, right now, Reggie Thorpe just looking for an explanation on what's going on, getting one. Alex Bouquet, the reason the Riptide are all tied up right now. Well, we talked about him, his size, 350 pounder, Got quite a lot of agility for a guy that big, but he's making a lot of saves on the Philadelphia Wings. Look at the split for the big guy right there. Great job so far. Last 10 seconds ticking off. Wings tried to feed a play. Reardon on the right side, but he couldn't catch the pass cleanly, and we finally get the horn and the end of the second quarter. So a very entertaining first half here at the Wells Fargo Center and a New York Riptide team that outshot the Wings 32 to 19. Surprising numbers there. Quite impressive. New York has to get, do something different. They're letting it fly from everywhere. Paul Dead, Day said expect the unexpected, and 32 shots out of New York's been impressive. Zach Higgins has stopped all but five of those as it's been a, a great first half for him, and there's going to be a, no doubt maybe some adjustments, I think, on the wing side before they come out for the third quarter. We will see how things go there, but a 5-5 tie after one half of play. Devin Caney is downstairs. Thanks, Brian. Kyle, when we talked earlier, you told me it's not about results, it's about the process. How's the process going for you guys so far? Uh, you know what, we're, we're not necessarily thrilled about it. Um, you know, I think for us it started in a warm up uh, and then it's kind of fizzled out into the game. So, uh, you know what, we're, we got a message for me going in is just worrying about the next play. You know, let's forget about that half and let's uh, get out there and grind one out. All right, thanks, Kyle. Brian? Devin, thank you very much. Kyle Matisse headed into the locker room to rally the troops after the Wings are all tied up with these New York Riptide 5-5 after two periods of play. We've got lots ahead for you here at halftime. Stay with us here on NBC Sports Philadelphia. Halftime here at the Wells Fargo Center, the Philadelphia Wings and the New York Riptide. Well, the San Diego Seals and the Colorado Mammoth will make history when they play the first ever NLL game in Las Vegas next Saturday night. Devin Caney sat down with both teams to find out how Vegas became a lacrosse destination. We talked about you know, L.A., we talked about a game in... Uh, in Anaheim, we talked about other market opportunities, and Vegas came up. It jolted the conversation that we wanted to have about, uh, you know, a game outside the marketplace. It's definitely going to be a, like a monumental event. It's going to be something that, you know, that I think we're all going to remember forever. Just being a part of it in that environment, in that in that city, Vegas on Super Bowl weekend, being one of the most popular destinations uh, for sports fans, we thought that would be a really cool opportunity and. Uh, so that was where the idea was born. I mean, it's the first professional lacrosse game, indoor lacrosse game to be played in Vegas. It's, it's one that kind of jumps out at the schedule for you. I don't think I've ever even thought about uh, a pro game in Vegas. And I think fans are going to love it, and then Vegas might turn into loving it too. It would be a pretty cool feeling just to be the first team to ever play there. And, you know, if there's ever expansion or a team that comes there full time, to know that we were kind of the ones to kick started to be a cool feeling. and. Uh, just the opportunity to kind of go down to Vegas and, uh, you know, play in an environment that I'm sure will be pretty wild down there. It'll be, uh, be a lot of fun. They're, they're, they're pushing the envelope, right, and trying to uh, do things that haven't been done in this league. And, you know, you're, you're, you're making ground, right, and, and you're creating, uh, you know, some buzz and excitement around the league. Have the opportunity to play there. I think it's something that's pretty cool, pretty special, and, and something that once maybe a couple years down the road after everything's done, kind of look back and, and think about it. It'll be something that, I mean, I'll kind of reminisce on and, and talk about. A unique experience for everybody, both teams. Um, it's going to be a heated game against Colorado, so we're excited. At the end of the day, it's, a, it's another lacrosse game. It's a, an opportunity for us to get a, get a win. I asked that we play Colorado because I thought uh, what a great opportunity. We're about halfway in between 
You know, Vegas is halfway in between Colorado and San Diego. The best players in the world don't get distracted. You know, they focus on them, they control the controllables, and they just move forward. And I think for young guys, that's, you know, a difficult task. I remember my first game in Colorado, and, you know, you look up, it's the big stage. And um, at the end of the day, you just have to go and execute your role and make that your priority and focus. We're excited to, to be there. Um, we're excited to have a good game, but we're going to treat it like, uh, yeah, I mean, any other game and make sure that we're prepared and hopefully we can get the win and then celebrate after. It had some level of significance. It has a lot of significance for me personally, but at the end of the day, that wasn't about that. It was about the fact that this really made a ton of sense for a Western Division uh, a matchup in, in Las Vegas and trying to get a lot of people in the National Lacrosse League to come join us for a big party. Be sure to tune in next Saturday when the Mammoth take on the Seals in the NLL Game of the Week from the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas. Join Teddy Jenner, Doug Locker, and our own Devin Caney for live coverage beginning at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time with a special 30-minute edition of NLL Game Day Live. Highlights and stats from the first half, Wings and the Riptide coming up when we come back. We're at five apiece, Philadelphia Wings and the New York Riptide here at the Wells Fargo Center. Halftime as the Wings and the Riptide are really just battling neck and neck here, Scott. The uh, Wings coming into this game knew that this Riptide team was going to be a tough out. That has been the case as they've figured some things out. And Tyler Digby on their side of things has uh, been tough to control. Yes, this has been a heavyweight battle between two teams, the Wings and New York, even the, their even though expansion team, it's been impressive. Tyler Digby's been the story for New York. He's got two goals on the night. The pass, as I call him, big man, 280 pounds, moving quick, this little fake. And then the shot was the difference right there that beat Higgins. Quite impressive for Digby. Meanwhile, at the other end, Alex Bouke has been tall when he needs to be. He has been frustrating the wings a little bit. He's been fantastic in the net. This is a huge man at 350 pounds, 34 shots, 31 saves. This guy's been really impressive. And the split, had you see some athleticism out of Bouke. Zach Higgins, the busier of the two goaltenders in that first half. He has been a big reason the wings are tied right now. Yep, the stopper, Higgins kind of continuing on where he left off. Only get, has given up five goals, but he's been fantastic from inside, outside, making big saves to holding this to a tie ball game. The shots are definitely heavy for the uh, Philadelphia Wings, or for the new Riptide, rather, in this game. That has not been the case for a lot of Wings games this year, but they're out shooting the Wings 34 to 20 so far. And again, Higgins has been the big reason that this game is all tied up at five. This is the first of a lot of action around the NLL this week. This is, of course, the game of the week, but there's a lot of uh, big games going on around the league this week, and a lot of them will have uh, impact on the East Division standings. Well, the Riptide have to go back to back start in Philadelphia, then they get to go home against the San Diego team led by Steve Govett in that franchise. Quite impressive. Then you got Halifax, Calgary, Buffalo, Colorado, and Georgia at New England. Action-packed. A lot of great games to watch on the National Lacrosse League. That New England-Georgia matchup will be big for Wings fans inside the East Division here in Philadelphia. We're all tied up at five apiece. Wings and the New York Riptide. Wings are going to have some power play time when we get started in the third quarter in just a little bit here on NBC Sports Philadelphia. The NLL on BR Live and NBC Sports Philadelphia is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit GEICO.com to see how much you can save. We got a close-up look at the action on the floor last week as we put a microphone on Ryan Wagner this time. We'll let you see what things are like in an NLL game. He's coming up, come on, get high, get high! Bruce, first side! One, one, one! Oh, wings, man. Hey, on those face-offs, do you want me just jetting through the side there? Or? Yeah, stay wide so I can hit it to you. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this guy, whoever's in the center is getting he's, he's got a bump he's up. A straight line at me. Someone yeah. just got to disrupt him so you have some right. time and then you like can just second. pop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to me. We got to go to the D side of the ball. Okay, protect the net first. 
A field level look from Ryan Wagner last night in that very exciting game against the Rochester Nighthawks. He's got a goal tonight as he takes on his brother John on the other side with the New York Riptide. And he was a guy that came over in the trade last year that sent Chris Cloutier to Buffalo. Wings have been very excited to have him. He's been a great addition to this team. They've got a draft pick coming up either next year or the year after that from that trade, but uh, Wagner's been a great addition to this team. No so. doubt about it. A very valuable player to the Philadelphia Wings roster. A guy that really does it all. Ground balls, defense, pushing the transition. Uh, very similar, you talk about his, the brothers, the Wagner brothers. John is very similar to what his, his value is to the New York Riptide. So a lot of penalties called at the end of that second quarter lead to a five on three for the Wings to start the third quarter. Minute 35 of that action is on the board right now, barring any further incident, and the Wings win the faceoff, so they are set up and ready to go, trying to break this tie. Right side, cross pass, left in front for Hickey, was just off the mark. Comes out to Crowley, off right side. Courier shoots and scores! Josh Courier, rather that's Corey Vitarelli getting it going for the Wings early on the power play, and it is 6-5. Credit on that play starts with Trevor Baptiste. That was such a key faceoff, being on the power play. Power play win. Look at Crowley, cross field pass. Vitarelli, one time catch. Look at him, creeping down, one time catch. Quick stick beats Bouquet to that far pipe. Pass, catch, release, goal wings. It's a power play goal for Philadelphia, their first in their fifth opportunity. As Corey Vitarelli is able to capitalize and the Wings go back up in front, six to five. They still have a minute 19 left in what will be a five on four situation now. Illegal push called against Philadelphia, so New York will take possession. Just underway here in this third quarter. And the Wings with power play time left over from penalties in the second quarter. But give, New York will have a chance give, to give, it Gotta give a shout out to Corey Vitarelli with this, for his 200th career goal right there. Missed that one, beat me to it, but great job to Corey Vitarelli for his 200th goal. Vitarelli, the main offensive acquisition for the Wings in the offseason. As the shot clock winds down before New York's able to get one on net. So the Wings will take possession. 40 seconds left to go in the man up situation. 10 year veteran Vitarelli makes his living down in that left hand corner. Big goal, so you can get another. Matisse and Rambo play catch. Now back to Crowley to the left side. Now back to Matisse. Off for Rambo. It bounced out of the stick. He'll get it back. Five to shoot. Rambo walking in. Gets that shot away. Luke makes the save. And the loose ball still in the air. I thought that was on goal, but they did not give him credit for a shot there. So the shot clock expired. And New York coming the other way. So penalty time now is up as Lomas comes out of the box. We are back to even strength. Wings able to capitalize on half of that two-man advantage. And New York working in the wings end, trying to tie things up. This is Thorpe. Runs into some traffic, rolls off. Needs it back out to Lomas. Long shot away as the shot clock is winding down. Stopped easily by Higgins. And here comes Philadelphia. It's Liam Burns moving it ahead. Now Hickey will work it down the left wing. Hickey off to Courier. Brings it up high. Goes down to the right side for Blaze Reardon. Back out to Hickey. Fires, scores! 
Brett Hickey from distance bounces at home. 7-5 Philadelphia. Brett Hickey just feeling it. Look at him at the top at the point, just inside that restraining line. Finds himself open. He's going to take the shot. Nice bouncer. Bouquet drops to his knees, but the bounce shot goes high. Beats Bouquet to that stick side and into the upper corner. Great goal by Brett Hickey. Second of the game for Hickey, and it's a big one as the Wings went past that second quarter. Scott, where they've usually been able to get some momentum, didn't get much in that second quarter. They're going to have to find it here in the second half. Yeah, well, they are battling it out, no doubt about it. The face-offs are generally even. Here's New York with another offensive possession due to a face-off win. Credit to Alex Woodall. John Lou Shatner controlling on the right side. He feeds a man off the bench. Comes back to Shatner. Tried to cut one out in front, but that bounced into the possession of Higgins, and he'll slow things down. Here comes Philadelphia as Wagner helps with the transition. Now he'll leave to complete the change as Kevin Crowley possesses in the left wing corner. Crowley looking for a lane, tries to fight off a of man. Double team, gets it off though for Courier. Courier right side, shot save made by Bouquet, and he lost possession of it. Wings got one back toward the net. It was wide in front. It's reared and bounces one wide. High rebound comes to Crowley, snags it out of midair. Wings will get sat back up after a couple of crazy plays. Great opportunities in front for Philadelphia. Bouquet with the big saves, but Wings get three opportunities at it. Wide shot rebounds to Crowley. He's got seven left on the shot clock. Crowley fires one through a screen. Save made, new 30. Wings retain possession. Here's Matisse, feeds it right side. They score! It's Finarelli again, tucking it home down low. And the Wings have opened up an 8-5 lead. Talk about persistence. Philadelphia just moving the ball, all the opportunities, keeping the ball hot, keeping it moving, finding the open man. Look at Matisse, crossfield pass, one-time catch and release by Fittorelli. Big shot, great look at it, Fittorelli. Catch, shot, goal. Vitarelli, his 200th and first goal right there by Corey Vitarelli. So two quick ones from Vitarelli here in the second half, helping the Wings pull away. And now Trevor Baptiste again pulled the ball out of the circle, but he gets tied up, loses it, and they battle for it. It ends up in the Wings bench. It will be Philadelphia ball. Great job by Steph Charbonneau to continue that play over toward that far wall. Scott, it looks like the Wings might have changed up their strategy a little bit. Some of those role plays weren't working. Now they're moving the ball, and they found some success early on. Yes, they have. Great movement, spreading the floor out, spreading the defense out, and it's working. That cross-field pass to Vitarelli, one-time quick stick, makes the difference. Bouquet could not get to that near pipe. Great goal. Let's go downstairs to Devin Caney. Yeah, guys, you have to wonder what was said in the locker room at halftime. You heard what Kyle said to me right before the half, and I know he's the leader of this team on and off the floor. Clearly, he wasn't pleased with the way that they were playing, but when I was talking to him earlier, he said that they like to play with the Philly style, really gritty style of play, and I do wonder what he said to the guys because clearly they came out in this second half fired up. Yeah, I wonder as well. I'm pretty sure that we wouldn't be able to air it even if we had it. <laughs> but uh, whatever it is, it seems to have taken effect here early on as the Wings have started to regain the momentum. They've got the first three goals of this third quarter, and another shot banks off the outside of the post. They get the possession back. Wings have turned it up here. Well, you bring it to a different level when you're playing at home. To go to 5-5 equal at halftime and then go there, you know what you can do. It was a little sloppy play to begin with, a lot of, a lot of drop passes, big second half. We've got a timeout on the floor. 9.48 left to go in the third quarter. Wings lead it by three. At this time, we used to be turned your attention to the video board screens. We both With a couple of quick goals to extend the Wings lead here, Scott. Well, a couple quick six. What great stick skills he has. Catch and release by Corey Vitarelli. His 200th career goal for the 10-year veteran. He's got two tonight, very similar fashion. Quick sticks and goals. Look at this, Corey Vitarelli, Mr. 201. 10-year career, 
201 goals, 344 points. Big pickup for Philadelphia this year for number 23, Fittorelli. If you love the NLL, you'll love all the highlights on our social channels. Get the best goals, saves, and action during the games and during the week on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and NLL.com. Here's a quick dump out in front and a stop by Higgins off the stick of Lomas as New York is trying to well, the momentum here. Wings have the first three goals of this third quarter. Man cutting to the net. That's Kelly, and he tucks one home. Connor Kelly got by his man and is able to slide one past Higgins. And it's now 8-6 Philadelphia. Kelly, let's take a look at it. Just an athletic move, speed move. Little drops his stick to his left hand, but comes back to her right. Little dip and do, dip underneath. Finds that far corner, beats Higgins. Great goal by Connor Kelly. Kelly jumped into the air, and Paul Day's trying to decide whether or not to challenge this, and he's just decided not to. He had the flag in his hand. Kelly landed on the line, but the question was whether the ball got over the line in time. We'll get a look at it here. And there's the foot down, and might have had a shot there, but you don't want to burn it maybe at this point in the game. So that's what that goal stand. New York seems to be beating Philadelphia at their own game. As you see, John Wagner picking up a ground ball. They almost look like Philadelphia tonight. Just scrappy, fast play all over the floor, spreading out the defense, crisp passes, great individual goals like Kelly's. We've got a great ball game here. Here's Storp up high. They work it around with eight to shoot. Here's a drive and a save made by Higgins. The rebound goes right to Liam Burns, and he's going to work it ahead to Isaiah Davis Allen. He'll slow things up. Wings will get the change and get the offensive personnel on the floor. Brett Hickey dropping down into the right wing corner. Off to Crowley. He'll scoop it back to Hickey. Hickey feet his right side, looking for Vitarelli just out of his reach. Ball bounces around in that corner and finally will be controlled by the Riptide. New York will head up the floor as Souter leaves it off and will finish the change. Lomas gets to it right side. Lomas feeds Gibson off the bench. Gibson played it off right side. Now it's back to Lomas. Lomas, quick shot, save made by Higgins. And he will hold on. He's looking for a long pass, but and now we'll fire it off over toward the wing's bench. Little fort checking by New York, putting pressure on the wing's defense in, when they're clearing the ball. Matt Rambo slid one in there that got under Bouquet, but did not quite roll over the line. It rolled to the line, off the post, and back out. Unlucky there for Matt Rambo, who had a pretty good lane to work with. The post is your friend for Bouquet with that save. Couldn't get across the line. Ethan McCardle got around Baptiste but fired it wide. Seven to shoot as New York retains possession. Big over the top shot. Stopped by Hickey. Charbonneau picks it up while he's on the ground. Gets up. Retains possession. Three on one the other way. Beats a man ahead. A shot and a save made by Bouquet. Wings battling for the loose ball in the right side corner. And nobody can quite get to this one yet. It's a hot potato. Blaze reared and taken on two Riptide players there. Now he'll get it in there. Blaze reared and finally corrals that ball. Like a Mexican jumping bean out there. Nobody could get a hold of it. What great hustle. Reardon and Matisse just go battling for the ball to get the wings of possession. Great opportunity there too. Great Matisse. save by Bouquet. Feeds Rambo down the right side in front for Vitarelli, but he could not quite catch it cleanly. Four or nine to shoot, rather, as Courier picks it up and looks toward the net. Thought about the shot, cuts it back to his left, brings it out in front. Shot save, Bouquet! And it is waved off. He sat on it before it could cross the line. Looked like Crowley wanted maybe that to be looked at, but no avail. Look at Courier trying to get him moving. Oh, look at that five hole save right there. Riptide on the attack the other way. A shot stopped by Higgins. It rolls out, but it's sitting there. He's not sure where that one is. Couple of close calls at either end of the floor. Here yes, sir. Six minutes now and counting left to go in this third quarter. Wings lead it by two. They had the first three goals of this third quarter. New York's got one back, but Crowley 
trying to extend the lead, but had it knocked out of his stick. New York gains possession, but Crowley's not giving up. Crowley's knocked it free back to the floor. He absorbs the hit. Now the Riptide pick it up. Crowley in pursuit, and we've got a whistle. 10 seconds, could get it over Crowley, four on one. Crowley does it by himself. New York did not, couldn't push the ball up out of the defensive end, and it's a turnover. And that's all thanks to the efforts of Crowley to keep that ball alive. So the wings will get set back up. Crowley absorbs the bounce pass. He'll leave it off for Brett Hickey. Hickey tried to feed a man in front, but that pass intercepted nicely, and here comes New York the other way. This is Radowitz with it. He'll finally roll off at the restraining line and let the offense take over. Thorpe feeds Gibson off the bench. Rather, that's Shatner back to Thorpe. Now they're working around. Lomas to the far side. Digby. Rather, that's Longboat. Now near side, it's Thorpe. Trying to find a lane. Got the shot away. Whistled wide to the net. It's going to ricochet out of play. And it's going to be Wings ball when we come back. 446 left to go here in this third quarter. Wings up by two. It's 8-6 here at the Wells Fargo Center. Fans, don't forget tonight the celebration of our local heroes. Next weekend, the NLL Game of the Week moves to Las Vegas as Connor Fields and the Seals host Dylan Ward and the Mammoth at Orleans Arena. Catch all the action on VR Live, Twitter, and Facebook starting at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time with a special half-hour edition of NLL Game Day Live. Brett Hickey, of course, one of the Wings' leading goal scorers, and he's back at it tonight. He's just been clutch for the Philadelphia Wings. Inside, outside, doing it all. Great bounce shot right there. If he's got a couple goals, created some offensive firepower for Philadelphia. Moving the defenders, taking the shots. Two goals, one assist. One of the top scorers for Philadelphia. Was the first pick in the expansion draft when the Wings were formed prior to last season and uh, was supposed to be the cornerstone of the offense last year, but not only lasted three games before an injury ended his year, but back in full force this season. And one of the key pieces to this offense is they're trying to find another one. Wings working the ball. Rambo moving out in front. He was checked pretty closely, tried to get a shot away. It bounced out of play. So New York now will come back down the floor. Coming up on four minutes left to go in this third quarter. Wings lead it eight to six and being outshot 41 to 31. But uh, Higgins is then up to the task. Riptide working around. Longboat off to Thorpe, dish it off to McCardle. McCardle got the shot away off the mask of Higgins. And it rolls back into his possession, but McCardle was pushed. And they are going to give that ball back to the Riptide. A little too aggressive on the defense, pushed from behind. New 30 for New York. Shetner moves it over to the left side. Kelly trying to roll around a man, gets around a pick and got a shot away, but Higgins stopped that, and Burns gets to that loose ball. Good hustle there from Liam Burns as he'll bring it up the floor. Gets it off to Alex Pace, and Pace will leave it off and complete the change. Kevin Crowley controlling things up high on the left. Feeds it off, Vitarelli walking in, and he scores! The hat trick for Corey Vitarelli. And the Wings lead it by three once again. It's nine to six. You see the patience and the talent and skill of Corey Vitarelli. Takes his time, face dodge, reaches to that far pipe and buries it. Here it is. Does he shoot from outside? No. Walks in, face dodge. Sets up Bouquet, jams it in that left, upper left-hand corner. Great goal by Corey Vitarelli for the hat trick. And all three of those goals coming here in the third quarter as the Wings came out of the locker room with some renewed vigor and have opened up this 9-6 lead. Another epic face-off battle here pulled free by New York, and it's tied up in feet. We'll see who comes away with this one. It's like hungry, hungry hippos out there. And now it's pulled away by Philadelphia. Heads-up play by Nick Finley. Kyle Matisse will get things set up at center. Great ground ball, great possession for Philadelphia. One thing to see right here, it's just great to have a New York team back in the National Lacrosse League. What a great battle and rivalry that's beginning again between New York and Philadelphia. 
A long over, a long rebound the other way results in an over and back. So New York will take possession, but they will get set up. Yeah, one of those games was the 1989 MILL championship game. Philadelphia Wings and the New York Saints. One member of this booth was in that game. I'll give you three guesses as to who. First two don't count. <laughs> first championship in 1989. That's where the first ring came from. Started a great run for this great franchise of Philadelphia. Fortunate enough to have won six. Higgins with another stop, and the Wings able to gain possession because he, once again, let up no rebound. Here's Kevin Crowley trying to start a play. Bounce pass to Rambo on the right side. Matt Rambo shuffling. Got it off to Crowley. Big shot save made by Bouquet, and he'll hold on to that rebound. Bouquet continuing to stand tall for the Riptide. Again, he's got a high number in that goals against average column on the season, but he's played much better than that number would show, and we've seen it here tonight. Here's Thorpe working up high. Feeds it down left side from Longboat, back to Thorpe, rather McCardle. Now Thorpe. Skip past the far side, big shot. Locked down in front, two to shoot, and the violation's gonna come as some great play by the Wings defense led by Anthony Jogum results in the turnover. DP with a little theatrics trying to draw a penalty, wouldn't work. Great defense, Philadelphia. Kyle Matisse now deep in the New York end. Feeds it to Rambo on the right side. Matt Rambo looking, shuffling. His own man kind of pushed a riptide player into him. Then he tried to feed it back to Matisse, but that was intercepted. Here comes New York the other way in transition. Wagner with a shot. That missed wide. Dan Wagner trying to get one to equal his brother on the other side, but wide and the net goes out of play. It'll be Wings ball. Yep, look very familiar, huh? John Wagner, other side, trying to match his br big bro. So Corey Vitarelli now on the right side, looking for a fourth goal in this quarter as we wind down, but it's checked out of his stick by New York, and they'll come the other way. Rolling off a man is Gibson. As he sees traffic, he'll pull things out. Our Devin Caney is downstairs. Thanks, Brian. You guys talk about the Wagner brothers playing each other, and this league is a league of family ties. You know, we've got siblings. We've got Reggie Thorpe coaching his son, Gail Thorpe. But I did talk to Ryan Wagner earlier about playing his brother, who is in his rookie season with the Riptide, and he said it's a pretty surreal feeling. But what's special about tonight, their parents are here. I asked him if they split the jerseys 50-50 or, or who got the the benefit of the parents rooting for them. And he said they try to keep it pretty even, but they can't come into the Wells Fargo Center wearing a Riptide jersey. So they are in wings gear tonight, Brian. A great treat for the Wagner family, a great third quarter for the Philadelphia Wings as they pull away. They outscore the Riptide 4-1 to in that quarter. Fourth quarter action is coming up next here on NBC Sports Philadelphia. Get Flyers stories, stats, and videos, and more with the My Teams app. Download now to always stay connected to your Philly teams. Fourth quarter about ready to get started. Wings have a 9-6 lead. Zach Higgins has stopped 41 shots already in this game, Scott, and uh, he's uh, got 15 more minutes ahead of him. Last time these two teams met, there was a comeback, but Higgins is going to do his best to keep that from happening. Yeah, quite impressive. 42 saves on 47 shots. Yeah, we talk about his his ability to control a ball. Here's a, here's that save, and the ball stays in his stick. He gets it up and out. He's got an assist on the night. Pretty impressive by Higgins. Fourth quarter faceoff is a violation against the wings. So New York is going to control to start the final period. They'll work it around. Kelly getting it off. And now it's controlled by Longboat. Frost field pass intercepted by the wings. They're going to get to this loose ball. Quite a battle with that faceoff dot. Woodall and Baptiste. Yeah, this has been the toughest evening that Baptiste has had so far this season. 75% on the year coming in, but it's uh, 
A lot closer to 50 in this game. Here's a shot and another goal from Brett Hickey. Hickey took his time, wound up, and let one fly, and he starts things off great for the Wings here in the fourth. It is 10 to 6 and a hat trick for Brett Hickey. You heard Coach Paul Day say, expect the unexpected. Well, Hickey just lets it fly off the pick. Here he goes, coming right up the pick, has time, room, lets it fly, buries it to that lower corner. Great goal by Brett Hickey. Him and the captain, the two-man game, a little slip pick, late slide. Hickey sets his feet and buries it for the hat trick. Now 15 on the year for Hickey. Had that huge game against New England where he had 11 shots but did not score. He's got seven goals now since then. Four in our last telecast against Rochester, now three here tonight. Free for all for this loose ball. Wagner is able to get there for Philadelphia and he'll feed it out to Liam Burns. Burns tearing down the left side. Nothing like great wingmen when you're a faceoff guy and Burns and Patton and Wagner were all there for that big ground ball to put the wings on the offense. Matt Rambo as the offense gets set up. Rambo looking for a lane, fires and scores! Matt Rambo gets on the board. It's 11-6 wings. Matt Rambo wants to join the scoring party. Let's take a look at it. All one-on-one -on -one effort comes through, a kind of wall, picks, gets himself across center floor, just buries it far side. Gets Bouquet to the near pipe and then buries it to that far pipe as he crossed center of the line. Great goal by Matt Rambo. That's his first tonight. He actually went oh, zero goals against Rochester last week, but had five assists, so it's good to, he's happy to be back in the goal scoring column. This was a 5-5 game after halftime, Scott. Wings have outscored the Riptide 6-1 since then, and it's 11-6 now, Philadelphia. New York with a face-off win, and they'll see what they can't get going here. Gibson is up high, and they'll work it around. Lomas got out to the right side. Worked back up to the near side for Gibson. That shot was blocked. Gibson trying to find the loose ball, can't. Wings dig it free, it's Trevor Baptiste. will just guard it until the shot clock winds down. And Philadelphia will take over. Anthony Jokum with his stick high in the passing lane, knocks down the pass, or oh, the shot really by Gibson. Great defense and turnover by Philadelphia. Josh Currier in that left side corner. Quick over right side for Vitarelli and now to Matt Rambo. Rambo looking, firing, save made by Bouquet. It was behind him for a moment, but he kept it out. And now here comes New York quickly the other way in transition. They work it free, a shot and a save made by Higgins. He puts out that fire. Ian Lord will bring it up the floor as Higgins continues to frustrate this New York team. Eric passed the results in a turnover, and here comes New York the other way very quickly once again. They've got numbers. A shot was deflected off the stick of Wagner. Hustle play there by the Wings to get back. Charbonneau got his stick in the way of that shot. Now Philadelphia in transition quickly the other way, but they'll slow it up. You often talk about pushing the pace of play from the front door. The Wings have such great athletes coming out of the back door. Charbonneau got there in time to intercept that pass on what looked like to be a fast break. Here's Hickey with a shot from up high. Save, rebound is in. They, excuse me, it was on the back of the net. Oh, it looked oh. good behind the back by Vitarelli, <laughs> but it was outside of the net. That fooled half the building, the guy that runs the horn and the guy that runs the light, and me. So New York now with it. On the near side, it's Gibson. Gibson comes up high, beats it off. Shetner put it out in front, backhander off. The end boards, bounces back into the Wings' possession, they'll take over. We gotta get a closer seat. <laughs> We're about 80 feet up, and uh, sometimes things like that happen. Late penalty though, coming up here against New York. And that'll send Higgins to the bench. Wings are gonna get an extra attacker on. Taking their time here with eight to shoot. Crowley dishes it off to Hickey. 
cross field pass off the mark three to shoot comes back to Crowley he's going to throw it in from distance but the buzzer is going to go off and we are going to get another unsportsmanlike conduct penalty as we get a look here at the shot from Vitarelli over the shoulder New York penalty number 20 and you see it hit the net and stayed there on the back of the net another unsportsmanlike conduct penalty going against New York though and again against Diggy I think Trevor Digby might need to have a Snickers. <laughs> Digby again. Choice words for the referee and put him back in the box. Two minutes on the sportsmanlike conduct. So Tyler Digby back in the box for unsportsmanlike conduct again. And that puts the wings back up. They're working around. It's Crowley near side for Rambo. Down low to Vitarelli in front for Matisse scores. The captain, Kyle Matisse, takes advantage. 12 6 wings. Great play, great ball movement by Philadelphia. Keep the ball moving. One, two, three. Look at Matisse just sets up in front of the crease. Rambo. Vitarelli. Matisse, one-timer, goal, Philadelphia. And as quick as Bouquet has been post to post tonight, he couldn't get over quite fast enough to keep that one out as Kyle Matisse picks up his second of the game. Wings were one for four going into that. Now they go two for five, well done. They've now outscored the Riptide seven to one to this point here in the fourth quarter. Trevor Baptiste pulls out a win, and the Wings will get set up. Nick Finley's going to stay out there on offense after he fed it to Vitarelli. They'll work it around. It's Crowley now out of the restraining line. Crowley backing toward the corner, trying to get away from Dan Wagner. Drops off a pass. A shot stopped and held by Bouquet. New York now will come the other way. Ten minutes left to play in this one. 12-6 Wings. Enjoying a tremendous second half as a shot whistled wide of the net bounces off the end boards and Ryan Wagner quick to pick it up. Finley works it out at center and now he'll dish it off to the far side. Wings getting the offense out as Crowley plays to Rambo high right. Rambo backing in toward the corner, trying to roll away from Johnston. Lost the handle on it. Rolls to the corner where Josh Courier will pick it up. Courier gets the shot away as time was winding down. That's stopped by Bouquet. He'll dish it off. Here comes New York. Good defense by New York. They're matching up with the Philadelphia Wings quite well all over the floor, chasing them wherever they go. Moving it around. Here's Kelly on the left side. Comes up toward the top, fires a shot that whistled wide. Long rebound out towards center. Kelly trying to swat it away, but he can't. Over and backs the call, and we have a timeout on the floor. With 8.58 left to go in the fourth quarter. Wings up six. It is 12 to six. Responder, the Wings have special ticket programs for these and other groups all season long. Check out wingslax.com to learn more and score your tickets now. Kyle Matisse, the captain, been part of this big second half surge, Scott. Well, he's a 60 minute man. He's, a, he's playing both ways today, offense, defense. He's pushing some dimes around. He's also on the scoring column, scoring goals. All around effort by the captain, Kyle Matisse, getting it done, loose balls, defense, assists, and goals. Kyle Matisse is the uh, Swiss Army knife, if you will, of this team. And you heard him at halftime talking to Devin about how he was not happy with the first half. You bet he told his teammates about it in halftime. This is a different Wings team here in the second half. Pass was knocked away, so we've got a turnover, and New York coming the other way quickly. They've got numbers if they hurry. Oh, a great play to break up a scoring opportunity off the bench. As Ian Lord, I think, was the guy that got there to snuff that out. Liam Burns fires it down into the corner, and it takes a funny hop away from Brett Hickey down there, so New York will take it, come the other way. 
Up by six, though, Scott, no quit the wings in terms of defending. That's for sure. Yep. Matching up very well. We talked about it again. You got an athletic New York offense, and then you've got 11 defensive players for Philadelphia. It seems like they always have some fresh bodies on the floor, guys that are just all over the place. And there you go, Matisse. He's the 60-minute man. You know, defense, we just said it. I mean, this is a guy that had 16 ground balls last game against Rochester. For an offensive leader, I mean, this guy does it all. He gobbles up that pass to create the turnover. Wings with another opportunity here. Matt Rambo on the right side. Rambo winds and fires, and that's kept out by Bouquet as he got the leg down. Riptide. Trying to see if they can't do what they did against the Wings back on January the 4th when they erased the five-goal deficit, but they've got a lot less time than they did that game. As a big shot by Gibson is stopped by Higgins. Wings trying to get it out of there. Charbonneau, a great effort. He's drawing a penalty. Rather, that's Jokum, excuse me. Plays it ahead to Hickey, and it's out of his reach, but it'll be blown dead as Anthony Jokum did a great job to keep the ball safe from the New, uh, from the New York attackers and drew a penalty at the same time. Looks like it's going to be a hold as Jokum was trying to push the transition down the floor. Here are Kelly, two minutes holding. Let's take a look at it. Jokum right here, one handed pickup in traffic. What a loose ball Jokum gets. Gibson up and under the throat. Under the mask, that's your penalty. Wings going to try to take advantage of another power play opportunity. They're two for five so far tonight. As Matisse works it free to Rambo. Rambo down to Vitarelli, a shot and a save made. They battle for the loose ball. It's at the feet of the scrum, and New York's going to come away with that one. New York looking for another shorthanded bid. They've already had one, a stop by Higgins, and then some extracurricular activity behind the play as the Wings move it up the floor. That'll be snuffed out. Minute 20 left to go on the man advantage for Philadelphia. Well, it's that point of the game, six minute mark of the fourth quarter that you tell your guys, keep your head up, fellas. We're up by six goals. We saw it last weekend against Rochester when teams are down. Here's another one. They're down by one more. 13-6. Fourth of the game for Brett Hickey on the power play. He beats Bouquet down low, and it's 13-6. Little give and go. A little flip behind the back from Crowley. Hickey sets up, buries it low and away. Look at this. Crowley behind the back. Hickey, one cradle, low shot. Big goal. Hickey, his fourth of the night. That's the second game in a row now for Hickey to post four goals. He's still got time for a few more, maybe. Just over six left here in this fourth quarter, and the Wings are cruising at this point. Outscoring New York eight to one in the second half of this game. That's why we highlighted him in our open. Brett Hickey, four goals last weekend against Rochester, four goals tonight. This guy is dialed in. Again, we talked about him being lost last year with an injury. He surely, certainly should be a leading candidate for comeback player of the year. Quick shot stopped by Higgins. He's got it caught up in the paraphernalia. He will release now, and Philadelphia will head up the floor. Ian Lord headed toward the bench and will dish it off to Vitarelli to complete the change. Matt Rambo takes the pass. Rambo. Maneuvering, tried to dish it down low. He was looking for Vitarelli in front. That's knocked to the floor. Wings will pick it up, though. Far side is Crowley. Takes the shot. Save made by Bouquet. And now up the floor it goes. Anthony Jokum getting in the way as Suter tried to move it up the floor. Now he'll peel off and will get set up in the Philadelphia end. Gibson. Down into the corner. And a quick shot hit the post. Digby found iron. Here's Charbonneau. He's got a step. He can't pick up the ball. Unfortunately, Steph Charbonneau behind the defense, but uh, could not quite get that one. Now off the bench, they move in and score. Kyle Matisse 
finds Brett Hickey off the bench. That's five on the night for Hickey, and it's a 14 to six lead. What a play, a handful for Hickey. Unfortunate shot on the other end off the pipe, but look, Matisse with the feed. Hickey come flying out of that front door box, catches it on the run. One timer, look at it, comes in, flying out the front door, a little fake, keeps Bouquet high, buries him, glove side, far pipe, great goal. Brad Hickey, his fifth of the night. Fourth assist for Kyle Matisse, and the New York Riptide are going to switch their goaltenders as Goa Abrams comes in. A great night for Bouquet, I would think, Scott. I mean, you know, the second half has not gone the way he wanted it to, but the first half kept things going. Now Baptiste walking in, and going Abrams stops the first shot he sees. Abrams finished up last season here in Philadelphia with the Wings. Tough night, Bouquet saw a lot of shots, a lot of inside, a lot of just quick stick shots to the backside he was unable to get. Reggie Thorpe saw enough. That ball went in, but there was a whistle before the shot, and we have a timeout on the floor with 4-12 left to go in this fourth quarter, 14-6 wings. And now the time you've all been waiting for, let's announce the winner of the fourth quarter, and the wings have outscored New York 9-1 here in this second half after a tight first half. Our Geico play of the game goes to Corey Vitarelli. Well, he's had the hot hand all night, scoring from outside, inside, great shots, face dodges, picking corner, corners. Our play of the game goes to Corey Vitarelli. Huge night for Vitarelli and a huge second half here for the Wings as they'll look to add to it. A, there's an off-ball foul before we went to break, resulted in the whistle that negated the ball that went over the line. So we remain at 14 to six. Wings with possession under four minutes to go here in this fourth quarter. Wings that far away from going to three and zero here on their home floor. Wings get a fresh shot clock as that shot went off of Abrams shoulder and it's picked up on the far side by Kevin Crowley. Just smart veteran play now. Let the clock burn off. The clock's your friend. Again, this was an expansion team last year that there were opportunities when the wings were up, they would still force the ball. And uh, right now they know clock management and it's working for them right now. Five to shoot, Matisse sent one that went wide, comes off the end boards into the crease where New York will corral it and head the other way. Riptide working into the corner, they'll complete the offensive change. Riptide got their first win as a franchise last week over the Georgia Swarm. As Digby works it out right side, a pass off the mark, and we'll come back toward Digby. He can't settle it. That was a win that helped the Wings in terms of the standings in the East Division because the Swarm had beaten the Wings earlier this year. It keeps them some distance between them and the Wings for second place in the division. Expansion team trying to get familiar with each other both on the floor and in the locker room. They did get their first victory. The Wings went 0-6 last year as an expansion team, so New York better than by a game. They learned so much last year. What a difference a year makes in play. I like the talent of this New York Riptide team. They've got veterans, they've got some quality young players. They've got a bright future. January 31st is college night here with the Philadelphia Wings when they take on the Georgia Swarm at 7 p.m. College students can get tickets to that game for $15 with a valid college ID. Visit wingslax.com for more information and score your seats today. Wings will get another shot at those Georgia Swarm. Of course, in that contest next week as we get a shot clock violation. Wings get a week, the full week of rest before they take on Georgia next week. However, on the opposite side, New York goes right back to work tomorrow in New York versus the San Diego Seals. Minute and a half to go here in this fourth quarter. Wings with a comfortable lead, 14 to six. Great second half here is Vitarelli looking for more. Behind the back, stopped by Abrams. 
They're really getting fancy, but Abrams is up to the task. Wings, though, regain possession. One of the Riptide players shaken up in front. To stay out there. It's Ryan Fournier. And the Wings again with some of that clock management here as we approach the final minute. Here's Vitarelli looking at things. Skips it over for Brett Hickey. Back to Finley. His shot is stopped. Rebound shoveled in on net by Vitarelli. But Abrams came up with a stop there. Last minute of play. What a great game by Philadelphia. Good four quarters of play. Incredible second half. Scored 10 goals. Quite impressive. And we've got a whistle and a violation by the wings off the ball, giving it back to the riptide. Into the final seconds here at the Wells Fargo Center. Wings are going to keep their home record perfect as a pass is picked off. And going in the other way with it is Finley. He's thinking about what to do. Now he is going to shoot. And that one whistled wide. New York will pick that up. And they will tick off the final seconds here at the Wells Fargo Center. The Philadelphia Wings win their third straight at home. They improved the five and two on the season with a fantastic second half and a 14 to six win over the New York Riptide. Great effort all the way around. Again, another complete game, offense, defense, and goaltending. Zach Higgins, unbelievable in the net. 51 saves on 56 shots. Wings win, wings win. Well done, men. If you're New York, you got to be happy with that first half. Wings, though, adjusted, figured out what they needed to do to get the offense going back their way, and they took advantage of a few mishaps on the riptide side of things and some penalties that came their way. We'll be back to wrap this one up here at the Wells Fargo Center here on NBC Sports Philadelphia. 15 to six, Devin Caney is downstairs with Corey Vitarelli. Thanks, Brian. Corey, you crossed a career milestone tonight. What was working for you in this game? Uh, well, it was, a, it was a tight game early, and it uh, wasn't the first half we wanted, but we talked at uh, halftime about being a little bit better, and, um, you know, we got on a bit of a roll. A couple lucky bounces. You know, our offense uh, sort of runs by committee, so uh, lucky to get a couple there, but Hickey stepped up, too, in our defense and Hickey in net. You guys came out in the second half swinging. What was said in the locker room? What was the difference? Uh, to basically work hard and be a little sharper. We were a little off in the first half, and give credit to them. You know, they battle hard, and uh, we just knew we weren't sort of playing the game we wanted to. So just a little regroup. We know we could be better, and um, gladly we were. All right, thanks, Corey. Congrats. Guys, back to you. Thank you very much, Devin. Scott, a tale of two halves here for the Wings, and Corey Vitarelli got it started. Yes, he did. Three goals, one assist on the night. His 200th career goal. That first one right there, just a great patient, seasoned veteran, a guy that just had a great offensive performance tonight. Corey Vitarelli, great effort, along with Hickey, who had a handful, quite impressive for the Wings. Five goals for Hickey, Kevin Crowley, seven points. Digby gets a four-point night for New York, and John Luke Chetner a goal and an assist. But uh, after that hard-fought first half, the Wings are able to pull away, and they get their third straight win here at the Wells Fargo Center. Go to five and two on the year, and we'll take some momentum in the next week against the Georgia Swarm. The producer of Wings Lacrosse is Josh Rager, our director, Nick Marchetta, and our entire crew here at the Wells Fargo Center on NBC Sports Philadelphia. For Devin Caney and Scott Gabrielson, I'm Brian Smith saying so long. 14-6 is your final score. Big win for the Philadelphia Wings here tonight.